and then I uh, added the possibility to have different output files because uh, what Milos did was just to uh, you could use different input files, but you could uh, there was only one output file. So now it's possible to have different uh, output files. And now um, I move it into a virtual machine. This is the virtual machine which we are using. So now it's possible to, to because uh, first day I was using it uh, locally, so uh, my memory was a uh, limit, so it was complicated. But now we have a virtual machine with a uh, uh, 100 uh, gigabytes, so we have plenty of, uh, of space to, to use this tool. And here yeah, you can find my, my code. So uh, this is uh, nowadays these are the the formats we are testing. So .dot.x, .dot uh, .rtf, and .pptx and uh, .pptt. And yeah, basically in order to to get the files, um, I'm using a script. I think Colin did and probably Marcus. And yeah, it's this script. So basically we are. Uh, just getting the, the files from all these uh, bug trackers. So yeah, we, we have uh, many documents available. So basically how this tool works, we have this uh, batch of documents here. And let's say these documents are uh, the input format, which say it's doc, doc, docx, and rtf. So basically what we do is uh, we convert it uh, with LibreOffice to PDF. So we see how it's imported into, into LibreOffice. And also, we, we define the output format. We say uh, it's doc, docx, and rtf. So then we, uh, we convert it with LibreOffice to those, uh, those formats as well. And then uh, from those uh, formats, we open uh, them in, uh, in, in Microsoft Office, because it's, it's the, the, the tool we want to compare it against. And then finally we get uh, each PDF for, for, for each uh, format. And then on the other side, uh, the same file, we open it with uh, uh, Microsoft Office, and then we generate the, the PDF. And eventually we compare all these PDFs against this one. So we use the horizontal alignment uh, comparison, the vertical comparison, uh, the side by side, and the overlay page comparison. So in total we have uh, four uh, Yes, four, four numbers uh, to, to compare all these PDFs. So basically, uh, things we are testing, we, we test with this, uh, with this tool. Uh, well, the first one, uh, we test uh, LibreOffice import here. Then we, we test the LibreOffice Libre export. So all this, all this part is test, testing LibreOffice export. Uh, we also have a uh, test uh, LibreOffice support because from, let's say we, 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 we find a, a problem here in the comparison but then we, when, we when we test that file in LibreOffice we see it's correct. So then we export it and we see that the problem is in the PDF export. So we are also testing that. Um, we also, as we are using uh, timeouts, we are also uh, uh, finding, well, I could find while uh, testing the the, the tool, I, I found some import and, and export uh, time problems, regression. Uh, uh, I could also find that sometimes, let's say we generate a doc file and then we try to open it in Microsoft Office, but then we have a corruption uh, problem. So then that's something, something we are also testing with this, this tool. And yeah, eventually uh, the, we are also testing the interoperability relations which is the, the goal of this tool. So uh, I'm going to show you an example of how this uh, tool uh, looks like. Um, <coughs> so basically, once we, we run the, the script, uh, in the end, we have this uh, spread, uh, spreadsheet. So basically, uh, in here, uh, we have the import uh, part, and in here, we have the export part. So here, this, are, this is something that I did locally. So right now I tested with uh, 64 uh, documents and it found nine regressions. So let's see an example here. And I used, um, wait a minute. 
I use this bit, which I think is the first uh, comment of uh, LibreOffice uh, 5.3, uh, 5.2, uh, sorry. And I also use a uh, uh, master build. Uh, commit is uh, it's a bit like it locally. So, for instance, let's let's take a look at this uh, this uh, file. So here we have the comparison side by side. We are using this is uh, Microsoft Office, and this is uh, LibreOffice uh, 5.2, which is uh, correct. On the other side, if we see. Um, this one, we see uh, Microsoft Office, and here we have Master. <laughs> so we see that uh, between those uh, uh, LibreOffice.2 and LibreOffice Master, something, uh, well, a regression was introduced here. So this is the side-by-side -side comparison. We can also have the, this one, yeah, this is the overlay comparison. And here is the horizontal comparison. And finally is the vertical comparison. So um, you can see that uh, these numbers minus two, it means that something was introduced here, a uh, kind of regression. Sometimes it, it's not a regression, you just check it and you see that, well, they look just similar, but here, well, you don't see much differences. So. But you can also use it to, to see improvements, like, I don't know, um, here you have uh, this one. This was in LibreOffice 5.2. So I think this one, the ballots were incorrect. But here, if we check it with the LibreOffice master, uh, they are correct, so yeah, we have an improvement here. And same for uh, round trip documents. So let's say let's find a regression like this one. Uh, ah, well, this is the same one as before, but this one, for instance. Yeah, we see that. <laughs> Uh, well, that's different. But for instance, we see that here we have an, an empty page. And um, in LibreOffice, um, where was it? Uh, yeah. No, sorry. So uh, I can find it now. Well, basically, it's, uh, it says that the number when it's negative, it says that a relation might, might be introduced here, so you just need to check it, and then, uh, well, it's an easy way to, to find uh, interoperability relations here. So, um, yeah, that's all. Do you have any questions? Yeah. So what tool do you use to um, generate PDF in, um, for Microsoft Office? Yeah, so we are uh, as we are uh, using uh, in Linux. We are using Wine. It's uh, Microsoft Office uh, running under Wine, and there is also another tool. Well, it's in, you have to integrate it into the the, the Office uh, direct directory, and it's called Office Converter.exe or something like that. So then it, it allows you to, to, to convert files to PDF. Mm -hmm. And yeah, right now I'm using uh, Microsoft Office uh, 2010, oh. but uh, I think uh, one, uh, Wine was uh, released, uh, Wine.20 was released a couple of days ago, and I think it, it has support uh, for uh, Microsoft Office uh, 2013. So probably I'm, go I'm going to test it and see if, um, if there are differences between using one or the other. What is the speed of uh, testing? The speed of, well, uh, it takes some time. Because, yeah, um, 
let's say if I use 1,000 documents, it takes about, uh, the first time, it takes about a, a couple of days. Then next time, because you already have, but what we do here is, okay, we compare it, let's say, I want to test master right now, so I use a previous version as a comparison. And now I have the, the comparisons in a week or after some time, I want to, to test it again. So I have already master, so I, I just need to generate this PDF and all the files for the new master. So then it's half of the time. So the first time you run it, so let's say for thousands of documents, it takes a couple of days, then it's one day. But the idea is to, to have uh, more documents than thousands. Yeah, the point is, in this case, for instance, if we are generating doc, docx and rtf uh, output files, then you you need uh, three times the, the time of, uh, of uh, comparison there. Um, so, uh, if you use a core interface to Microsoft Office, then you can keep Word running and then load the same documents, and then you can probably get a significant speed up. If you say, yeah. Yeah, so um, you could use the COM interface to talk to Microsoft Office. Yeah, we, we, are, we are using it. Okay, yeah. and then you can keep it running. So maybe you're already doing that. No, well, the thing that takes more time is the, the, the comparison. Okay. Of the PDF. Okay. Yeah. In fact, we are limiting the comparison to five uh, pages, because let's say we have a document of uh, hundred pages, it takes forever. So we just limit it because it's. Doing like horizontal comparison, vertical, and side by side, so it's quite heavy. Yeah. This comparison of page of end uh, page is uh, your own code or it's, a, it's Milos Milos code. Uh, it's not a general library. No, he, <coughs> he did it, and well, in in his repository you can find it. Okay. You can find everything, and basically in my repository, what what I did is to adapt that code to what the LibreOffice needs, or uh, yeah, what we need to do this. Could you distribute the comparison? Did you distribute? Can you distribute the comparison? If it's a uh, heavy workload, maybe we can uh, spread that across the whole sheet. Well, right now, as we are limiting the, the comparison to five, uh, five uh, pages, it's not that heavy at all. So it's comparison, the, the worst scenario, maybe three minutes for its comparison. So we are, I don't know if it, you say thousand, thousand a day. Uh, we do the, the crash testing and we run like eight or something thousand on the yeah. same day. So it takes you, a lot of time to do your, each test. It's like 10, 10 times, 15 times what we normally do for uh, the export crasher, we do the, which do the, all the export and run trip that you're talking about. So the, the comparison part is multiplying your cost by 10 times based on the number you say. So one solution may be to distribute those comparison and farm it on multiple machines. Yeah. To be able to actually do that in a reasonable amount of time when we have like the least of the Yeah, that would be a, a solution, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you experience uh, features like uh, you're seeing a difference in the PDFs, and uh, if you look in the uh, this week uh, editor, no, you don't have the difference. You mean that I see the differences in the PDF, but then I don't see it in, the, in LibreOffice, for instance? Yeah. 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 There are some uh, false positives as well. So. How yeah. large is the portion of all issues uh, from, uh, which comes from the PDF export? I, I found what, just one. So it's one of in my thousands? It's mm, a hundred, let's say. One let's get out. The thing is, uh, in LibreOffice, the code, where PDF code is not that touch. Uh, no, it's not as much uh, touch as uh, doc or doc filter and things like that. So there are m m more things going on in the doc filter and doc, uh, doc X filter and so on. So it's, it's, it's more common to find uh, regressions in, in, in doc filter import export and so on than in PDF uh, export. Do you also plan to use it to find regressions in ODF? Yeah, we, 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 can use it to, we can use it to find regressions in ODF, but we need, uh, I think it's, we need a, a reference that we, we know it's, um, although we, we are 
testing here against Microsoft Office and sometimes it's not correct.